Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft 365. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the Bookings app, how you can use it in Outlook, and how you can use it as a standalone app. So I'm on the home page for Microsoft 365, I'm clicking on the app launcher to find Bookings, which is down here on mine. You might have to search for it for if you haven't got it there already in all apps. Click on bookings and it will load up the booking app. I'll also just quickly go into Outlook so you can see that it is part of Outlook as well. So when you load Outlook down the left hand side you'll see an icon for it. There's the actual icon there. So it's linked whichever way you go into it you can use the bookings app so back to the actual app itself what I've got there is a training booking page so if I go onto that this just shows me how it works now what I'm going to do is basically create this from scratch so you can see how to create one like this so it's called training this one but I'll create another bookings page go back to this one you've got a create button I'll click on that and then it's got these options creating from the one I've already got so it just create a copy of that and then I can edit it or this option create from scratch that's the one I'm going for and then it gives you this create a new shared booking page so this one I'm going to call development I'm not going to add a logo and then you've got different options there I'll call it um, education this time you've got other options and then you've got your working hours there and you follow it through next invite staff so if I type start typing people's names I can add these people and then Ashley and then Tanya and then Tom Tom first Tanya, so I've added the people that I want and then go next. Set up a service. So the services uh, you can have, as, well, not as many as you want, but they can have different services. So it's totally up to you how you set this up or whether what you call it. If you this is the default one, if you want to change these hour blocks, you can do just click on change, but I'll just go next for now. So who I'm leaving that people in my organization can book that's it create and then it will set it up now it's been created you can click on get started and then you're presented with a calendar screen a calendar view that you can then utilize so all your people should be down on the left hand side now the services that it mentioned at the beginning is um, this option services and then you can click on and have a look at this and you can edit this and create new ones if you want. So that's the service, the default one. But If you want to create your own service, you can do that also. You simply select add new service. So and then this box comes up, so you add in a service name, so I'll call this um, manuals. Um, you don't need to put a description there, but basic build up manuals, the content of a manual perhaps. Like that, you don't need to put that location, you can put a location in there. It's totally up to you, I'll just put leads for a laugh. And then the duration that you want to set this uh, initial service up for. So it's on 30 minutes at the moment by default. That's the booking of it. You've got a buffer time option that you can set in there. And then you can set a, a time before. So I'm going to go five minutes before and five minutes after. So each booking, there's going to be a bit of free time. Price is not set for this particular process, but I will set a price. I'll just put 500 pounds. And then you've got some notes there and then maximum number of attendees or minimum attendees I'll go for six like so and then if you scroll down there's a couple more options English UK that's okay you've got this option as well I'm going to leave that 
off save the changes and then it should create that service so you've got the default one which you can delete if you don't want it and you've now got manuals which is this one so this is services so it started off on the calendar and then you've got customers or booking page should I say where you can manage bookings some of these options you might want to change so there's a link to the actual booking page you can email it or embed it on a website but th these other options if you drop these arrows down you can see what it's telling you or asking you to tick on or off so I'm not going to touch any of this default stuff just yet I'll just show you it customer data usage consent show a personal data collection usage consent toggle along with a message on my booking page that's for um, people that don't want personal details shared default scheduling policy at the moment when you create a service it's um, defaulting at 30 minutes this is where you would have to change it if you put it to let's say four hours and minimum leading time for a booking is 24 that can stay and then you've got all these defaults you can change send email notifications staff control allow our customers to choose specific person for a booking and then bookable, bookable when staff are free or not bookable for a particular service and then if i just collapse that one out of the way and then you've got customize your page this is making it a nice color if you want change to classic theme whichever you want i'm going to leave that as a default as well and you can add logo if you so wish drop that down and then regional settings should be already set to your location uk and always show time slots in business time zones talk to you if you want to take any of those on so that's all to do with the booking page itself i'm going to save that i did make a change and then you've got staff uh, customers and staff so customers there won't be any customers at the moment but if you want to add customers at this point you can do so I'll just add a few customers there so you've got like I'll go Dave Dave Jones and then email Dave at jones.com totally making these up by the way so don't bother email anybody and then you've got this other information you can put there I'll just save that and you'll see that sitting there so you just add your customers that can then book in these these booking slots if you so wish that's how you want to use it so that was customers staff you should already have your staff you added those when you created the actual booking service so if I click on contact you've got contact information calendar and availability you can set that and then which service there are assigned to so at the moment none after staff you've got the services again the two services business information this is basically information about your company this is the service we've created here development you can add address there if you want just make one up leads again I don't live in Leeds I don't know why I keep saying it but then we'll save that and then you've got integrations at the bottom there so you can power auto link this to create a flow and link it to power automate but back to calendar and let's create a a booking for a particular date so you've got options at the top there to uh, click on new booking or you can just double click on a particular date which i'm going to do and then you've got this information here so that's the date and uh, it's just got a 30 minute slot there you can tick this option to set it to all day and then it'll pick up the time range that's in settings i'll tick a couple of staff to do this um, alana and ashley and then you can add a customer it's got zero or zero of six seats booked so i've added a customer you basically type in the customer name so we did dave jones already dave jones add that customer in so it's already gone down one seat of six and then if you come back to the the other form view you've got an option there to add a second customer which will also or add it as a customer anyhow so I'll do that so customer name 
all white no results add customer go back so then you've got Paul White so now he should sit in the customers I'll have a look in a second but let's just create this booking create and then that booking will sit on the screen like so double click back onto it you open it up just says you all the information at the top you can edit this or cancel it or just close it down now the view we're on at the minute is obviously looking at month on the right hand side you've got an option to change that to work week day day by staff go for work week so then you can see that sitting there uh, next to that you've got print options export to Excel if you so wish and then you've got time off options here if I click on that let's say um, Tom is start let's say it's going to be off on the 18th all day create time off so time off is up there now on the same day as that so you can click on that and it tells you time off for Thomas Saxton which is quite cool so if I just close this bookings down for a second and go back into Outlook just to see what's been going on in Outlook so I should have been getting information coming from the bookings app into Outlook so it's telling me there look that um, I've created this development booking page now if you create a booking and for yourself that should appear on your calendar in Outlook and also on your calendar in teams so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going back to bookings through this app I'm going to create a specific booking in training and I will allocate myself to it and then you should see that there so if I go on this time slot there I'll just allocate myself just gonna add a customer um, customer name Dave Jones um, add customer go back to the main form and then there's Dave Jones it's, 30, it's just 30 minutes and then you've got this um, more options feature there which says new if I click on that gives you the buffer time which I've set minutes before I think five minutes so in the previous versions of bookings you had to do this in in the settings um, but now you've got it on here service location notes um, talk about Excel for example you can do an email reminder if you want customize time one o'clock I'll do and then to customer in fact I'll do, I'll do it to staff and then the message you can just fill it in there and then save changes and then everything else is okay create the booking so what I'm looking for now is to see it in my bookings there one seat of six booked so that's on the 18th there's already one there as well so if I now go back to Outlook itself what I should see is that booking on the 18th in my calendar if I go into calendar you should see that it's loading that up so I've got two there now training delivery at one o'clock that's that one and then I've just double clicked on it and you can see it's giving me that information close that off now I want to see if that sits in teams as well so I'm going back onto the app selector and selecting teams and then I want to see that in the teams so this is all integrated you don't have to keep repeating appointments in different apps which would be a nightmare so I click on the calendar one I'm in teams I'm not in the same week so if I go back a week there it is just popping up at the bottom there if I click on it, it gives me the option there to see that appointment you can see the actual five minutes buffer both ways if I double click on it it's opening the whole thing and you can see the information there 
So that's all I want to talk about on this little video. So hopefully that information has been quite useful. It's quite a, a nuanced little app, the booking app. But thank you for your time. Hopefully this has been good. I'll see you on the next one.